welcome back to Lovely Lavender Wishes. It's Renee. Hello, hello. Hope you're having a very blessed day today. I'm excited because today we are going to be in Romans chapter 12 and we are actually going to be focusing on verse 1 and 2. These were the one of the first verses I ever memorized in the Bible, y'all. Um, so this is like bringing me back. I just, I love this verse. So I had to, you know, of course I had to journal this page. So chapter 12, verse 1 and 2 say, Therefore, brothers and sisters, in view of the mercies of God, I urge you to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true worship. Do not be conformed to this age. Oh my gosh, y'all. We really need that word right now, don't we? Do not be conformed to this age. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may discern what is the good, pleasing, and perfect will of God. So be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And when people say, well, how do I do that? Really, it's getting in the word. It's understanding what God has to say about life and not what everybody else out there has to say about life. And that's really how you transform your mind. Um, I can tell you, um, Renee before being saved and Renee after being saved, two totally different people. Um, you probably wouldn't even recognize me. I had some friends who saw me years later and they're like, wow, you know, you're, you're totally different. Um, and that's that transformation that God does. So I'm excited, y'all. Um, so today we are going to be using this gorgeous, gorgeous napkin. Again, I have been hoarding this napkin. I only have one, I think one other panel of this one. And so I have been hoarding it forever, but you know, it's time to use it. And then I'm going to be using this image. It's so cute. I love this image. Um, and it just kind of matched. This image I got from Charlene Warwick. And you know what, y'all? I don't remember if this is for sale in her Etsy shop or if it was a freebie that I got. I just, I had it in my folder. I don't remember if I purchased this one or if it was a freebie in her group that she sent out. Either way, she probably does have it on her Etsy, um, in her Etsy shop if you want to check it out. And I forgot what it's called, um, but it's this little girl here. She's so pretty. And I just, I printed her out. Um, in a few different sizes because I wasn't sure how I wanted her on the page. I like to fiddle around with my printables and print them out in different sizes just because I just I never know how I'm going to use them. So the first thing I'm going to do, like I always do, is I am going to be very careful here and try to get this butterfly out of this napkin like so. But this morning was another rainy day, y'all. I was like, oh my gosh, is this rain never going to stop? And so I thought it was, it got really, really dark this morning. And I was like, wow, you know, we have a huge storm coming in. And it came and it hit. But then um, now it's super sunny. So, hey, <laughs> now we have a sunny day. So now, I, you know, I didn't really feel like um, journaling this morning too much through the the dreary, you know, I was doing a bunch of other things around the house. We're getting ready for a huge garage, a neighborhood garage sale for this weekend. So I kind of spent the morning going through all my stuff. Um, you know, I still have a long way to go. I could probably get rid of so much, but you know, I'm just, I get tired after a while. So I'm like, okay, this is what's going in the garage sale. So I'm getting ready for the garage sale. And then I'm going to put that up there, I think. And then the butterfly somewhere over here. Let's see where she's going to go. Maybe like right around there. So the butterfly is going to go right around there. And I want it above the verse. So I have the verse right here. So perfect. Um, what do I need? I need my gesso. Let me grab my gesso. Okay. So yeah, that's what I spent this morning doing while it was dreary and blech out. So I was like getting ready for my garage sale. Let me move her and let's get this going. Y'all know how, whoops, how I decoupage. But yeah, this was one of the first verses I ever memorized. This and I think Philippians 4 and Psalm 23, you know, all the, all the typical ones and 
for the wages of sin is death and you know like all those but this was one that I think it was one of my very first ones when I was listening to some a pastor way back when and he's like you know the best thing to, is to get the word in your heart and the best way to do that is to memorize it and I was like oh I don't think I can but you know I sat down and this was the first one I memorized still remember it to this day it's just cool how it really does stick with you and I'm not I'm not very good about like addresses in the Bible like where to find it but I'm pretty good with remembering scripture I just couldn't tell you where to find it. Some of them I can. Like, you know, I would say quite a few I can, but not all of them. I'm like, it's somewhere in the Bible. I know it's somewhere in the Bible. I would have to like kind of look it up to see. Now I have something on this back side, And so I can see that I'm having oh, some issues right here with uh, some bubbles and, you know, uh, some little lumps and bumps, but no biggie. I don't really mind. I just want to make sure this is um, I'm gonna be able to see the verse through here so anytime I go over the napkin it helps make it a little bit more translucent that's why I like go over the whole thing you can just glue it on with a glue stick. You don't have to use gesso. You can use Mod Podge. You could use glue, glue sticks, whatever you want. I just always have my mop or my gesso out, so that's what I use. Yeah, I've got some little bumps and lumps in this one, but I'm just gonna have to do. Okay. Actually, what I should get, hang on, is my plastic page and stick that under here. I did a tip in on this other side, so it's a little thicker. So yeah, we're gonna have a busy weekend with the garage sale and our neighborhood has a garage, like a community garage sale twice a year. One in the fall and one in the spring. We don't do it all the time, but um, we had some stuff. So, like, let's just do it. Might as well. Okay. So now we got to dry that before I can do the rest. So let me move this and move this water because I know myself and I always knock it. Okay, so let me get my heating tool. Let's dry this. Isn't that pretty? Oh, such a pretty butterfly. And I love, it's like the butterfly is transforming. As soon as I uh, got that napkin, I was like, oh yes, I have to use it on my transform page. I have to be careful because I've got stickers and stuff on the other side and I don't want it to get buckling up. So keep your heating tool moving. I can't believe how hot this thing can get. It gets really hot. If you don't have a heating tool, you can use a hair dryer or you can just sit and let it dry on its own. It dries fairly quickly. It's just since we're on video, I gotta speed up the process. And y'all know I do my videos in live, like, you know, real time. I don't speed anything up. Partly because it's a lot of work to go in and edit the videos <laughs> um, versus, I mean, it's still a lot of work doing the videos now, but it's even more work to go in and, and edit the videos. And I'm like, eh. to me, that's, I just, you know, Y'all can see all my mistakes and everything in real time. <laughs> I don't edit anything out. So y'all see all my blunders and mistakes and all that. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. 
So let's get her on. Let's see, she's gonna go there. So let me grab my glue stick. I just think she's so pretty. I am really particularly drawn to his palette, Worship Girls. I really like those Worship Girls that his palette sells. Kimberly over at his palette is so sweet. And she does such a great job with her Worship Girls. And then um, I really am enjoying Charlene's artwork as well. And I don't know if these ladies do their own artwork or if they you know, get it from somewhere. I don't know. Um, but either way, I think it's beautiful. Okay, so I have this word, transform. Now, actually, this one is from, let's see, this page that I did, um, and I cut it out. So this was actually, I think this is another Charlene's uh, printable um, that I uploaded and showed y'all how to do this page, and this was the word that went with this page. But I'm just taking the word and shifting it over here, and so I saved it. I save all your scraps, y'all. If you don't use a sticker or you don't use a word or you don't use something, I have like a little ephemera uh, book booklet that I you know stick all my extra stuff in, like printables and stuff that like I print out and I may maybe not use. And then I can I always go back and I go through them and I try to use them on collage pages or oh, I can't get the sticker off. Um, I use them, you know, or on another page, another Bible journaling page or whatever, so it doesn't go to waste. Or I'll give them to a friend and say, here, here's some stuff that you can buy, you know, here's some things for you to Bible journal. Okay, where would we want it? Like right here maybe? Or right here? Maybe like right here. Transformed. Because here is the verse right here, 12 and 1. So actually, um, let me find my... I'm just gonna bracket this off. Knowing that this is the verse that I'm focusing on. Okay. Then I have a bunch of these little stickers. All these random little flower stickers. So I thought these would be cool to put on in some shape or form. So let's kind of, oh, these are so cool too. They're like, I don't know if y'all can see that. They're kind of like watercolor stickers and they're they're even kind of see-through. I think I got this set at the dollar store. Let me see. It's a, It came in as a set and I had cut them out before and I had them all in a little package. And so I have all these sets. I think I got that at the dollar store if I remember correctly. Um, and then these were just some random flowers I had as well. Maybe if we go something kind of like that, maybe. Right there for those two. Oh, y'all, my stomach's starting to growl again. <laughs> I swear, it's so funny. It's like, as soon as we get on camera, my stomach's like, oh, it's time to eat. I'm like, no, it's not. Not time to eat yet. No, 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 not time to eat. Okay. Oh, the other thing I want to do, I want to show y'all this. Okay, I have this... Um, really cool it's like this mesh but it's got like this snow foam on it <laughs> or something so i got this from aliexpress and it came in look at this y'all it came in this big roll i'm gonna do a, a new aliexpress haul video soon i'm waiting for all my stuff to come in it comes in you know sporadically here or there um and of course there is no title on it except for yun min but what I did is I looked under gauze. I think I looked under gauze or mesh um, with snow, like, you know, mesh. And it comes in all different colors. This one was like a lavender. It comes in a dark purple, lavender, a blue, a white, a silver, I think, a variety. But it just came in. I was like, ooh, I really want to use this. And it's going to go perfectly. Look at that purple lavender. I love it. So we are going to use some of this. Let me think here. I wanna use some for a bow at the top. So I'm gonna cut a long strip out for the bow at the top. And man, it comes in these rolls like I showed you, and so you can definitely use these for a long time. 
You can do some really cool stuff with this. I'm gonna, I plan on using this a lot in my like junk journaling and things like that, Bible journaling and everything. Okay, so here's the strip for the top for a bow. So I also want to make like little leaves. So I'm going to kind of make a leaf shape. So I'm just doing kind of like a teardrop, I guess. See, can you see that? So just like a, a leaf shape here. Let me put it on the white. I don't know if you can see that. It's just a little teardrop. And I'm gonna try to do different sizes. So it's easier if um, you have like a bottom to cut from. So I'm gonna do some small ones, some larger ones, and these are gonna be the leaves of the flowers. So make your own leaves if you don't have leaves. Mm, that one didn't work out so well. Let's make a tip right there. And let's do another little one. I like this mesh. Yeah, it's getting to be dinner time. My stomach is like, yep, it's time to eat. <laughs> oh yeah, I like that. It's really subtle, but you'll see it when we get it close up. Okay, so I'm going to, I have to just put the glue under here and just kind of stick it on. in the glue there. I want this one to kind of stick out out of the page just a little bit. And then this one, I'm trying to get the glue underneath, we'll go here. Now let's figure out where we want, blow all this foam stuff off. Okay, let's figure out where we want these. Let's see, I've got a white one, another pink one. Oh, you know what else I wanted to do? See, I always forget. Okay, so I had these flowers. Let's see, I had these. Let me put these over. So I had these little white flowers, so I'm gonna use a couple of those. I had this silver, ugh. Everything's sticking, y'all. I had these silver stickers. And I thought this was really pretty. This would be a really pretty border along the bottom here. So let me just pull that off and we'll... So before we stick those on, I wanted to do like a silver border. Look how pretty. We'll just cut it like right there. And I'll just stick this right back here. And maybe we'll use it some at the top as well. Okay. Okay, so let's go back to figuring out where everything's going to go. Hmm. Maybe like that, like that. Maybe he'll go there. Maybe a white one here along the bottom, perhaps? Or should we put a white one? Oh yeah, right there. Okay, that's where they're going. So now I have to take them off their little backings. I love these stickers. Oh, I wish I, I think I got these from the dollar store. I might have to go back and see if I can get some more of those. Those are really pretty. I don't remember when I got them though. They probably don't have them anymore, but but if they do, I definitely want to get some. 
should have bought a couple of them at the time. I always do that. I'll be like, no, I might not use it as much as I think I will. So I'll just get one. And then I love it so much that I'm like, oh, I should have gotten way more. And then, and then it's the opposite. Like on other things, I'll get way more than I need. And I'm like, I shouldn't have bought this much. You know, it's always one or the other. Okay, let's do like that. Oh, so pretty. I love these. And let's make some more, um, some more leaves for over here. Gotta have more mesh on the page. Let's see, let's do this side. Where do we want this one? I need a few more because they're so light. You want them to show up against the paper. Do a small one. If I can get it. I probably should use my cutter bee scissors or tinier, but um, let's see. And you can make hundreds of leaves in <laughs> just one little strip of of this mesh. Like, I'm just playing right now just to see. Yeah, that'll be pretty. I need a bigger one, I think, for over here. One there, and let's do kind of doing like a little teardrop kind of. Like I'm going in and then like going out and coming back in. I wonder if I could tuck this one. Maybe if I make it a little smaller, I could tuck it under that. Um, okay, let's glue this one down. Glued this one down. This one needs a little bit more. So it's just touching the verse. It's like pointing you towards the verse. This one is gonna go right there. This one's gonna point towards her face. Okay. Okay, let me throw this stuff out. Okay. So now at the top, let's see, let me grab this. We could use the rest of this. This top is calling out for something. It needs some decoration, y'all. But let me get it straight. Okay. And then I wanted to do a bow. So let's try this, y'all. So I'm just going to pull this through all the foam stuff's coming off all these little 
little dots we'll have to fix fix this page okay where's the y'all know I fiddle and fiddle and fiddle I don't know why because I always go back to my original anyways <laughs> oh. okay so I'm going to cut like a little triangle out the bottom so it has like a little pointy thing. Does that make sense? Pointy thing. <laughs> so it looks like a little ribbon on the end, you know, like that, like a little, little thing. And then let's see, I have a purple. Okay, let me, I'm gonna blow all this off the page. Okay, because <laughs> I make a mess everywhere. And then I have this purple uh, paper clip and I'm just going to find like the back part here. I'm gonna open the paper clip up a little bit and try to put it through but not in the back. I can barely see where it is because of the mesh. So I'm just gonna try to hopefully get it through. Oh, there we go. So put it through like that and just um, snake it up so it's at the top. Tighten it and then fiddle some more on how you want your bow. <laughs> okay, I do want it a little bit smaller though. Okay, and then the bow up here am I in camera y'all <laughs> can y'all see that okay and once the book is closed it'll start flattening it a little so we have the bow hanging down like this we've got the mesh here okay let me grab all this and clean this off Okay, what else do we have? I think we need another flower at the top. One last flower. What do y'all think? Maybe that one, or maybe a couple flowers. I only have these three. I could cut one of these flowers off the... Or do we want it hanging down, kind of like, like that, or... Looks like it's just kind of hanging there in space. Or we could do, let me see, a white flower and a, oh yeah, that'll look pretty. Okay, so we're gonna do this one. We're just gonna stick that there. And then we're gonna do the little white one. I don't know where I want it. Maybe up here a little bit more. And then, of course, we need another leaf. <laughs> Anything for more mesh. I love this mesh. This is the first time I'm using it, y'all, so I'm excited. You can see I'm like a kid in a candy store. It's like, oh, let's add more. Let's add more. So fun. Okay, that's a little too big, though, for that. I just want like a little, little leaf. Let's do a little leaf for the top. Now let's do one more little one. Gotta have a little bit more. Oh yeah, that looked pretty. Okay. Put the glue on. Oop. And then we'll put the glue on down here. Where'd it go? Y'all see it? There it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now everything's sticking to me too.
and there we go. Easy peasy page, but I think it is beautiful. Of course, it's all my favorite colors. And it's I'm partial because it's a verse that I just love. So let me bring this all close up to y'all. Let me pull this out. Wow, that looks so pretty. Okay, so here's the top. The bow and the flowers and the little mesh. Then there's napkins. And can you see the mesh? Right there, not the flowers, and down at the bottom. It kind of blends in a little, but I like that. It's like it's there, but barely there. So do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Oh my gosh. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you have a very blessed evening, and I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.